One of the most powerful things you can do in a solution-focused brief therapy session is to presuppose change. But it's also one of the scariest things because you're asking the client about a change that hasn't happened yet. This is a very, very common thing that trips up most psychotherapists learning this approach because it requires a lot of boldness and a lot of courage to ask people about change that hasn't happened yet. But the truth is, we're very good at presupposing information. We do it all the time. For example, you may arrive at work and say to a friend, what did you have for dinner last night? You are implying without already knowing that the person in fact had dinner the previous night. But that's a very safe presupposition because most people do eat dinner. So you feel very safe and very comfortable saying, what did you have for dinner last night? And you anticipate getting some reasonable amount of an answer. But sometimes in a solution focused context, we presuppose change that's a lot scarier than that. Like we say something like, um, suppose you woke up tomorrow and you were happy, what would you notice? And the fear oftentimes that the client would say, I don't think I'll wake up tomorrow happy. Or the client will say, like the chances of me waking up tomorrow are not good. But you have to presuppose change because that's actually what this approach is all about. Now, the most amazing thing is clients don't say, I don't think I'll wake up tomorrow happy. They actually find the answer. Well, if the happiness did show up, this is how I would notice it. And through the description, the client is able to accomplish change. So if you want to get really good at solution focused brief therapy, I want you to master the art of presupposing change in your questions and develop the courage and boldness to ask this kind of question.